welcome to my channel in the lifestyle I'm Nakas Evelyn and today I'm shooting from the office this is not mine but I got permission and it's so awesome so in the today's video I'm going to share with you guys what radiography is all about just to give you a picture or an imagination what radiography is all about and then um, if at all you want to do radiography or you've come across radiography I'm going to clear all your doubts and all your questions that you have about radiography if you happen to have any question and I don't really uh, cover it up you can just put it in the comment section and I will still cover up in the next videos so don't forget to subscribe and to ring the bell so that all the videos that are uploaded you'll be notified and you don't get to be left out in this journey about your geography and other things other healthy things lifestyle and also vlogs for entertainment and the rest of the things that you would want to find out about so let's just get into this video and yeah Radiography is a technique that uses non-ionizing radiation or ionizing radiation which are used to produce an image. So this image contains the internal organs of a patient or um, a disease. So uh, by organs I mean the bones are involved, uh, different kind of uh, internal organs also are involved, the soft tissues are also involved. So those for that image is really helpful in giving a diagnosis so that's what radiography is all about it uses ionizing radiation which are x-rays or also uh, non-ionizing radiations which are sound and magnets so that's what radiography is Over radiography is to produce the images of high quality which are used in diagnosis so the Radiographer can do procedure as well by preparing the patient, welcoming the patient, preparing the patient, getting the history from the patient and knowing what to do next with the patient so that you bring out that image. After attending to the patient, you you get that um, the things that you are using and you process, you, you bring out the image which will be used for diagnosis by the doctor. And before doing the whole procedure, the radiographer makes sure that he or she checks the request form. So they take the request form, which is from the doctor, and see what the doctor is requesting for you to do as a radiographer. So you take in the patient and um, you attend to the patient. You do what you are supposed to do to produce that image with high quality, right? So that it helps the doctor to come up with a diagnosis and knowing what's really happening to one's body that's what the radiographer does so radiographers can work in government hospitals in private hospitals and they can also be employed under the hpcz as well as the radiation protection authority so those are the places where the radiographers can work from to do advancement in your geography so you can do for example we start from your diploma diploma you can do degree you can do phd and you can also do a master so masters then phd then you get to be called a doctor then if you want you can just specialize in one thing since there are a lot of different machines which are used you can be a sonographer that means you just do ultrasound diploma degree masters phd and if you want you can just do computed tomography you can do specialize in mammography um, mri different kind of machines just like i said earlier before about the machines so you can still advance and you can still specialize in one thing that you would want to do just to narrow it down Definitely a radiographer can be a doctor and by that I mean after acquiring your degree you can do you can start medicine in first year that is you are the NS or the natural sciences the first year are excluded and you just start directly in the first year of medicine then as time goes by you are called to be a doctor if you want you can still specialize in radiography you become a radiologist that's a must uh, Definitely you can be, you can do, uh, you can be a doctor, yeah. 
radiographer is different from a radiologist. A radiographer technologist is one who has done a diploma and these are people who just produce the images which are helped in uh, diagnosis and other medical uh, part. And then a radiologist is one who's just specialized in radiology. So a radiologist is one who has a degree or has a master's or has a PhD and a doctorate while they do medicine, they do general medicine and they specialize in radiology field. And these people read and study the images. They are the ones who interpret the images. So that's the difference between a radiologist and a radiography technologist. don't only deal with x-rays they deal with different kind of modalities and by that I mean different kind of machines they do ultrasounds they can still do um, CT that's computer tomography they can do MRI magnetic resonance imaging they can do uh, mammography they can do uh, x-rays as well so different kind of mod modalities nuclear medicine and all that but those they need more trainings where you specialize in one thing or you can still do different kind of things it's just a general and a wide um, department that's what the radiographers do on the, the diagnosis part but radiography can also be used in the, the therapeutic part whereby some diseases can be cured using the radiography department or the radiology department and also radiology can also be used in under the theater where they are doing the operations and also radiology is in there to help the doctors see where they are operating and where they're supposed to inject and other things right advantages and benefits in radiography is that you can open up your own diagnostic center like you just buy the ultrasound machine you can buy x-ray machine you can buy mammography machine any machines that becomes that you feel is easy to 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 buy and to to work with it so you can just own your own machine and open up your own center then the private hospitals or government hospitals they can be referring those patients to your area that's the thing that's the advantage and the benefits then the other thing is that when you complete your college or uni your university it's kind of easy to to find a place where you can practice you can practice the the, the skills you can practice to do scannings you can practice to do x-rays and other things so those are the benefits you can it's easily you can easily find where to practice and you can easily find it's the say the area where you can just put up some machines and people get to be going at your area those are the advantages and the benefits i wanted to share with you guys about your geography just to have a picture about what your geography is all about so don't forget to put in the comment section what you if you have any other ideas about your geography what you thought it was and if you have any other thing that I haven't said and you want to know about it, you can just put in the comment section and I'll be there to help you. Then don't forget to subscribe and also to ring the bell for more videos that you will be coming up and you don't get to miss them. So yeah, see you in the next episode.